Welcome to the Phys at Home. We are going to do an activity called the Ultimate Underhand Throw Challenge. This will work on your underhand throwing technique. Now, the equipment you need, you're just going to need two sock balls. These are just a pair of socks I rolled up into a ball two times. Now, one is going to be your target. Okay, I'm going to put my target sock ball, I guess, right about here. You want to make sure that you have about eight, eight to ten feet in front of you so that you have space to play this game. Now, what you're going to do to start is you have to take one step away from your softball target. So have your heel touch the softball and you take your one step away. Then you turn and you have to do an underhand throw trying to hit the softball target. Underhand throw, good, I hit it. Now I pick it back up and now I must take two steps away. Heel touches the sock, and now my heel touches the toes of my other foot. Now I'm two feet away, I turn, and now you can see I'm further away. I have to do an underhand throw, trying to hit my sock ball target. Underhand throw, and I'm gonna do the tick-tock motion, and I hit the target again. Now I have to go three feet. One, make sure you touch the sock ball. Heel to toe, heel to toe, that's three feet away. I turn, on the hand throw. Yes, I hit the target. Okay, now I'm up to four. One, two, three, four. I turn and I throw. If I miss, I must, con I don't go back to the beginning, but I have to do four again. One, two, three, four. Turn and throw. Good. And then I do five, six, I go as many as I can until the timer runs out. This is a one minute challenge. Let's see how Coach Gelardi does. Six points. This is called the ultimate underhand throw challenge. See how well you do. You don't even have to use a timer if you don't want to, and you can just see how far you can go. To make this a little less challenging, instead of using a sock ball as a target, you can always use a book, because a book is a bigger target. And you see the, the book. If you want to make it a little more challenging, instead of using a sock ball, you can use a tiny little paper ball. And then, as you can see, that would certainly, ooh, I hit it. But that certainly makes it more challenging. But try to get your best personal score. Thank you for visiting the zone, the Phys at Home.